Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to send smartphone PDF as an email attachment and as a part of that, we finished first five steps. We get the binary file, we converted the binary file from X string format to binary format, we created the send request using create underscore persistent method. After that, we created the SAP user, external user, and we added those user as a recipient. If I will come on to our email sending process, if you want to go for simple, simple email sending process, what we covered as of now, we simply clicked on to compose button. It means create request part is over. After that, we gave the recipient. Yes, we created the recipient. We provided the recipient. Means we created the SAP user because we are going for a requirement that we will send the mail to SAP user also to external user also. So we created the SAP user, external user, and yes, then we pass that recipient. So up to this, this part is over. Creating the request, adding the recipient is over. Now we need to go for document part. Document part includes how many things? Every mail has a subject. We will give the subject. We will provide the contents to the mail. And then we will attach the PDF. And then we will go for send button. So our next target is we need to prepare the document. Documentation part we need to do. Documentation means subject we will give mail contents we will give. Now, you all know very well, we put the focus on two classes as of now. This class is used for the send process, but for the document perspective or document from the documentation perspective, we will use this particular class. So with the help of this class, we will create the document, we will add the attachment, and then we will go for further steps. If I will go for this particular class, just see what is the next step. We will create the document. Document means subject, mail contents. Then we will add the attachment after that. So I will go for SC24 transaction code. We all know SC24 is the transaction code for global classes. Now I will put this class. Now, if you see this class, if I will see that description, it is clearly saying it is a class for documents, documents. I will go for methods and we have so many methods here. Here we have a method create document and we will create what? We will create a office document. Yes, we will create a office document. Now, if you see this method is a static method, static method. If the method is static, we can call the method without the object itself. So how we will call this method? I will simply, simply go to our program. SAP user created, recipient added, internet address created, that also added as a recipient. Now we will go for next step. We will create the document. I will go to pattern, ABAP object patterns. I will give the name of the class. This is the name of the class. CL underscore document underscore BCS. 
I will go to method. And we need to go to which particular method? Create underscore document. I will go for OK. And you can see we are getting so many parameters. We have so many exporting parameters. If we have here, we have exporting parameter. If I will go to this method, they all will be importing here. If I will double click and show you, you can see these all are importing. We have one returning parameter. Yes, we have one returning parameter. So now I will simply, simply uncomment this try and catch. Never, never forgot to uncomment that try and catch. If you see in all the methods which we used, I always, always uncommented that try and catch block. Why, why we are doing this? Because if some error triggered, at least runtime error will not be there. If you will not uncomment the exception and some error triggered, system will throw runtime error. So never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions, exceptions. Never, never try to, uh, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. So always uncomment, try and catch so that you can avoid the runtime error. Anyways, in object oriented programming, yes, it is fully, fully explained. Now, now we need to go for various things. What is the first thing? We are giving a subject to the mail subject. Have you seen we have a parameter I underscore subject. We will give the subject to the mail. Okay, suppose if I will go for subject of the mail, what the subject we will give to the mail. Suppose mail subject is order details. Mail subject is order details. So we will give order details. Subject is order details. Now, best practices always we should never, never pass that text into one language. We should always, always use text symbols. So what I will do, I will simply write text hyphen 0, 0, 0. And I will pass order details. Control X. I will create this. Yes, I am creating text symbol, but 000 stands for order details. If some best practice we know, we should always, always follow that. So we gave the subject to the mail. Now the next thing is all about the body of the mail, body of the mail. But we have written, dear sir, below is the attached PF, PDF, Thanks and regards name. You can go for any kind of content, any kind of body of the mail. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Suppose we will give same to same body. So we will go for parameter. Have you seen we have one parameter I underscore text. This parameter will be used to give the body of the mail. So simply, simply uncomment this parameter. We will uncomment I underscore text. What is the type of I underscore text? How I can check? I will simply double click. I underscore text. We will double click. I underscore text is of this type, this type. If you double click, it is a table type itself. It means I underscore text is a internal table. So I will copy this table type and I will declare in my program. 
बिकॉज मेल बॉडी इज ऑल अबाउट मल्टीपल रोस इट मीन्स इट इज कंपल्सरी मस्ट बी ए इंटरनल टेबल सो आई विल राइट डेटा सपोज आई विल राइट एल टी अंडर स्कोर टेक्स्ट टाइप टे बाई टाइप नाउ आई विल डिक्लेयर वर्क एरिया ऑल्सो See, I have not used type table of because it is a table type itself. Now I will declare work area. L W A underscore text type. Work area is always always a structure. So this is your structure. This is your structure. It is work area is always always structure type. now i will write lt underscore text in front of i underscore text here i will write now lt underscore text if you see both have same to same type lt text is s o l i underscore tab if you see i underscore text also it is of which type solely underscore 